now we got YouTubers that are trying to fight and, and yeah, yeah, YouTubers fight basketball players. Like what the fuck is going on, bro? Everything is about the spectacle, you know, to be honest with you, uh, that Logan Paul fight versus, uh, Jake Paul. what's his name? Yeah, it was his little brother, Jake, Jake Paul versus Nate Robinson, the basketball player. Nate Robinson. I, you know, it's, it's fucking bullshit, man. Um, here's the bottom line. Even, uh, even an amateur, you know, he's got what one, he's got a boxing match, a smoker, he's trained hard, he's sparred the difference. And I think a lot of people don't get that. Cause I talk to people all the time to yeah. tell me they know how to fight. They've just never trained, you know, it, it, it's, it's crazy. Like even the difference between a low level amateur and somebody that's never been in hard sparring is a freaking world of difference. Now you're going to put them you're going to sit them backstage for a couple hours. You're going to have them go out there. By... It's not like somebody slapped your chick's ass at the bar. You turned around and cracked them. It happened so fast you weren't even thinking about it. Right. You know what I mean? Like the the pressure cooker of a fight, you know, it, you know, it, it was, uh, you know, it was too bad. It was unfortunate for him because what happened was exactly what, what, what I thought would have happened. You know, it's what I think any trained martial artist would say uh, is going to happen. You know how anybody was surprised by the outcome of that. You know, well, he's a high level athlete Not at basketball. Same. Dude, different. You know what I mean? Different sport. He's probably he's way more athletic than you or I or 99 percent of people in the UFC for that matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Fighting is a different thing, it's you know, in, in my opinion. No, it's not, it's not even your opinion. My opinion, too. The thing is, is like I, I have no problem with celebrities fighting, you know, fighting each other, even playing field. But this guy, you know, Jake, is, is, is he's taking boxing seriously. So he's training and he's been training for over a year, like steady all the time training, you know, best trainers, best. He's got all the money. He's got all the trainers. He's got all that. So he's he's a full time, you know, amateur or well, I guess pro now, but box boxer basically. He's training, you know, and then he's he's challenging guys like video gamers and and these basketball players. And now he's yeah. trying to get Conor McGregor, and it's and and now Nate Diaz is jumping in, and God, he's going to be in deep shit if Nate Diaz fights him. Like if he takes a I, Nate Diaz yeah, fight, he's going to get gonna fucked. Say, I'd love to see that. He is going to get I mean? murdered in that fight. So it, the thing is, is like he's setting himself up for something probably worse than Nate Robinson. And what he doesn't realize is what happened to Nate Robinson, even as funny as it is to him, and he thinks it's so cool that he got flatlined. Uh, we've both been rocked and, and, and knocked down, and it, you don't feel that. You know, it's not, it's not like Nate Robinson suffered any. Uh, if he was to jump into the MMA ring and fight a, a mediocre MMA fighter and, and had to, you know, get his face crushed in, his nose broke, his eyes loose, fighting a choke, uh, almost going unconscious, and have four minutes left of the first round, that's a whole different ball game, buddy. That's a whole <laughs> different ball game than getting flatlined. Whole you know what I mean? Ball game. That's right. And yeah. so I think I think he's setting himself up to. to you know, he's going to be that guy eventually if he keeps fucking around with these guys trying to get these, especially guys like Nate and Nick and, and Connor who can actually throw hands. He's going to get embarrassed, man. And, and it's crazy. To, I mean, I, I, it's cool if they stay in their own realm, but trying to disrespect fighters and stuff now. It, I mean, I get that a lot of the fighters haven't boxed pro like Connor and stuff, but there's a difference, like you said, with the guys who's thrown punches for 20 years and guys, you know, who haven't. And, it, and, and, and it's like it's a whole different ball game. And, and you know, even if you reduce all their techniques, thousands of their techniques to where you might have a puncher's chance because all they can do is punch, you're still at a gigantic disadvantage against a real fighter. You know, a guy who has punched and, and got punched thousands of times. So it's crazy to me, man. And then he's making a huge deal about it. And and, and like I said, God forbid he gets Nate Diaz. Uh, he's in deep well, shit. Well, I, I, I hope uh, Robinson got some money for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. He, he got humiliated. He even the basketball there, players know? jumped on and he and was laughing and, and making just like that poor guy took a lot of heat for that and hats off to him for getting in there and fighting. But I mean, he, he I think that was a, a lesson for a lot of these other celebrities. Okay. This is what can happen to you. It's not a game. You know what I mean? Like I, I have, I have respect for Logan for at least fighting and, and, and Jake for fighting and all that or whatever uh, against each other and the video gamers and stuff. I and mean, it takes a lot to get in there and fight. So I have respect for that aspect, just not the calling out of real fighters. Um, but now with the Nate Robinson knockout, I think that's going to let a lot of these celebrities know second place in this sport or in any combat sports is not a fun place to be. It's like, it, yeah, you know, you, you, be, you become an embarrassment to the world, not to mention it's not a fun experience when you get woken up in the middle of, the, of, a, of a ring or a cage. You know, I don't take anything away from 
from from him for you know for getting beat that way. But but what yeah. I will say is, whoever told him it was a good idea, I'm not sure who he was training with for the for those six weeks or or five weeks, whatever it was he put into this training camp. You know, but whoever told him it was a good idea, uh, that person I have an issue with. That person knew better and still was like, yeah, man, let's do it. We'll, you know, here, here's your jab. Follow what you cross. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to get this guy. You're that, that's imagine. a hype man right there, bro. Whoever, whoever had him thinking he was going to potentially win that fight. Yeah.